GameStop and AMC, we have been seeing quite a wild ride for those shares. They are both off more than 40% from their most recent highs. Um, although I think that they're bouncing back a little bit here. Yes, here they are. They're bouncing back a, a little bit here this morning, actually, after being down just when we checked on them earlier. So uh, a little bit of a whipsaw effect here. Let's bring in Clay Gardner. He is co-founder and co-CEO of the investing platform Titan. And I, I bring up the meme stocks with you, Clay. Thank you for being here. Because they're sort of emblematic in a way of what we've been seeing writ large in the market as of late, which is this newer risk aversion money coming out of some of what we called earlier in the year, the sort of places for thirsty cash to land, right? Is that something that you're seeing? And, and what do you make of that behavior? Yeah, well, first off, thank you for having me. Um, and I, I think it's spot on. I think the combination of pretty unprecedented, you know, fiscal and monetary stimulus, um, you know, since the, the depths of COVID, all that cash is going to go somewhere. And I think, you know, with the Omicron variant, a lot of folks are still, you know, rightfully staying at home and, and waiting and seeing. Um, and so, again, that cash has to go get deployed somewhere. And we're seeing a lot of it get deployed, um, you know, into many platforms that I, I view sort of like casino-like gambling. Um, a lot of the day trading platforms and the meme stocks have been bene big beneficiaries of those, uh, those capital flows. Um, you know, we put out a piece back uh, when the AMC GameStop craze uh, first first kicked off um, around how this could potentially, you know, work out to these companies benefit even past this period of hysteria, which I think is interesting. And it's, you know, if these meme stocks go out and they raise capital, if these companies go and issue stock at elevated prices and raise capital and then actually use that capital capital to reinvest. You know, could GameStop, for example, become the Amazon of games? Um, I know that sounds far-fetched, but those are the sorts of things that we think are worth thinking through as investors, as opposed to immediately writing off the meme craze. Uh, I think the jury's still out. So, you know, we and our clients are sitting on the sidelines at Titan. Uh, we don't own any positions in meme coins or meme stocks. Um, you know, we're, we're quiet observers, but I am fascinated by, you know, how these companies are going to, are going to take advantage or maybe not take advantage of of these wild swings in prices. Clay, as part of the Titan platform, you post uh, uh, helpful or helpful videos to the platform to help investors understand how to invest, what to do and what not to do. What are some of the biggest questions you're getting from clients right now as we head into the new year? It's a great question. I mean, I think the volatility over the past several weeks has been quite stark. And you know, one of our investment analysts described that as a very non I think it was not ergodotic, um, which basically means uh, very calm on the surface, but a lot of rumblings and waves underneath the surface. That's I think it's a perfect way to describe uh, the markets over the past few weeks. So our question, our clients are asking us questions like, "What's happening? Um, what are we doing about it at Titan, if anything? And you know, how should we be positioned heading into the new year? You know, taking those piece by piece, I think it's been macro concerns around inflation, the FOMC meeting tomorrow, um, and accelerated tapering, and obviously that's hit. The very long duration growth assets, you know, highly valued software as a service stocks, for example, and a lot of these are great businesses. So a lot of these are in the Titan portfolios, and our portfolios have not have been not been immune. So you know, naturally, what we're doing about it is we are reining in some of that exposure. So we've trimmed a lot of our high valuation names in the software and other growth sectors. Uh, we've redeployed and invested into industrials and healthcare. I think those are particularly interesting from an inflationary resistance and uh, secular growth standpoint. Uh, and then we've also raised some strategic cash. So we actually do have some dry powder, more dry powder than we've had uh, in months, perhaps years. Um, and we're, we plan to deploy that dry powder once the dust stuff start to settle and once we believe we're in more of a risk on environment. Um, but we're, we're, we're staying put for now. I do think there could be more volatility coming up uh, into the new year. Hey Clay, I want to take a step back for a minute for people who are not um, who are not familiar with Titan. Um, so you guys are an investment platform. You're sort of a startup investment platform. What makes you different from a traditional money manager? I mean, it's a great question. I would say we think of the state of retail investing today as sort of caught between two, you know, unseemly poles. One pole is the world of unaffordable old world wealth management. And so you can think about like private wealth advisors that typically have million dollar minimums. You have to walk downtown to the office, make an appointment. Um, and even then, in, if they ever make any trades or updates on your behalf, it's likely a, a PDF prospectus in the mail. Um, the other poll is what we like into sort of casino-like gambling or day trading. Um, it's folks spinning their wheels, trying to get rich quick. 
um, and doing it themselves. And you know, we kind of view that as akin to you know, having a keys to a Tesla without having gotten a driver's license. And so where, where Titan comes in is we're trying to give everyone a team of investment experts in their pocket for as little as $100. And so what we do is we basically recruited the team from buy side and sell side firms uh, in the investment world. And we build and manage actively uh, manage portfolios on behalf of clients. And we do it via a mobile app. That's why we did decide not to launch a mutual fund or launch an ETF is we want to have a direct relationship with clients. So if you open the Titan app today, you're likely to get a quick audio note on our take on markets, um, perhaps a trade update on any positions we're making in crypto or equity strategies. And so, you know, we have 40,000 clients today. And I think many of them would feel like they have a personal relationship with myself and my team um, at a fraction of the cost of, of traditional managers, which I think is really exciting. Clay, how large is your uh, crypto business? Yeah, we haven't disclosed the, the assets volume of the crypto business. Um, it's definitely outpaced our expectations, I can say. Um, you know, we've done it, you know, frankly, with one arm tied behind our back in the sense that, you know, we have yet to really dive into some of the interesting value added services that I think are going to become pretty par for the course in crypto over the next two years. So, you know, staking, um, having some participation in, in the NFT world, you know, those are features that are on our roadmap that are on our minds, but, you know, have not yet been launched. And so, you know, tremendous growth in the assets into Titan crypto. I think it speaks to the fact that a lot of retail investors see crypto moving up and to the right. If you zoom out, and want to participate on, in this thing called cryptocurrency and blockchain, but either don't have the time, don't have the resources, unsure what coins to buy. Frankly, even just having an on-ramp, um, there's, there's security concerns, there's ease of use concerns. There's a lot of frictions if you're a retail investor and you want to get involved. And I think you know Titan's been able to solve that by making it as simple as joining the app in a couple of minutes, depositing as little as $100 and, uh, and setting it for getting it and by many means. Clay, thanks for coming on. Good to catch up with you. Clay Gardner is Titan co-founder and co-CEO. Thanks for being here.